Welcome to Vegas Live with Nina, and I'm Nina Devera Rosa, your host. You know, I have to say something funny. The reason I'm laughing is because the things that happen behind the scenes, and I often think I want to reverse my show <laughs> and have it behind the scenes. It's absolutely fascinating. I love it. I have Erin O'Connell with me, and um, I don't pre-interview my guests, so I don't know what she does, but a little birdie told me... Um, that you are a comedian. I am, in fact, a comedian. Yeah, you are a comedian. Now, being a comedian in this world, of, as a woman, yes. is very, very difficult. But for you, it probably isn't. You just come flying in and <laughs> <laughs> she flies in and does her thing. <laughs> well, I, you know, I didn't know what we were going to talk about today because I figured you invite an Irish girl to a bar in the middle of the afternoon. I think it's great, but where are the drinks? Home. I mean, where are the drinks? I, mean, come <laughs> I on. did. I brought just a big box of liquor. It's out there. It's out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where should be? It should be out. <laughs> so I'm right at home. You know, the day drinking. The day drinking yeah. thing goes on. You My know, after one, how, how do they drink in Vegas? Because they, no, nobody gets up to twelve o'clock. Nobody goes to bed till twelve o'clock. Free liquor, though, you know that's that's a that's a selling feature, liquor. I would think. If you, yeah, they offer you drinks whether you want them or not, which is always. Well, I good. haven't. Yeah, I have had that pleasure, but drinks. The cost of drinks in Vegas is astronomical. I'm not going to say how much they are because I don't want to frighten anybody. But there's um, <laughs> there's not below ten dollars, believe me. Well, that's why you want to hang out with me. I'm going to hang know? out with you. I get the all Irish free drinks. People, yeah, we can find it. We sniff it out. It but, really but the Irish love to drink, doesn't they? Well, you know, yes, we do. We're kind of proud of it. Uh, I actually did one of those Ancestry.com tests, and uh, no surprises, my results came back, and all it said was, your DNA has a blood alcohol level uh, four times the legal limit. Uh, so before even being tested? Yeah, I mean, they know. you stopped by the know. police, you're guilty, you're not guilty. We're, we're, we're not sort of <laughs> drowning in it, my, my people from way back in Ireland. So, did uh, you agree with it? Uh, well, I, I consider myself a moderate, but I do like to enjoy. I love a nice a martini. Oh, come whiskey. on, six, seven o'clock, a nice yeah. martini. My drink is Manhattan. I love Irish whiskey. I'm pretty traditional when it comes to that, but I like, you know, I don't like to overdo it. No. So I lock myself in my house on St. Patrick's Day in Vegas. I learned the hard way. <laughs> you know, I know what my people are capable of, so I think I want to be safe. I want to be absolutely. Yeah. So, what got you into being a comedian? Uh, I actually can trace my interest in comedy way back to my early childhood where my parents wouldn't allow us to watch Batman because they thought it was too violent. Really? But, yeah, that's Now, the where truth. were you living then? I lived in Sunnyvale, California. Sunnyvale, California. So you were in, in, in the United States. I'm yes. surprised. Which, well, they were relatively conservative, but um, they loved the program Laugh-In. Oh, and yeah. so that was a really early influence. So you me. were allowed to watch that? Absolutely. Well, that it, was a great program anyway. It was a wonderful program. And um, I'm kind of, I, my husband and I have a podcast. And we had the opportunity to sit down with the creator of Laugh-In, George Slaughter. Yeah. And it was one of my favorite interviews because, you know, the late 60s was such a turbulent time. But he figured out the combination of sort of... Um, looking at what was going on in the world in terms of the Vietnam War yeah. and Richard Nixon yeah, resigning and Patty Hearst and through a That's comedic right, that lens. all was all in that time, wasn't it? It was, but he Talk was about really... The disruption. You sure that wasn't 666? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like 666 to me. Total disaster. That's right, that's right. And I was just a kid, you know, I was yeah. really young back well, then. Well, I wasn't even born then. <laughs> that's right, I can't remember that. No, yeah, I wasn't yeah, we hadn't met yet. No, no, not yet. <laughs> no, but but I, I, I know I was influenced by... Um, by the comedy side of life, the, the yeah. happy... I call it the happy side of life. It's like yeah. if you want to tell a joke. But in England, when we do jokes or we, do, we, we say something funny, supposedly, right. if, they, if we say something and they laugh, we'll laugh, you know, it's funny. Uh -huh. But if there's no reaction, we just sort of, we have this deadpan <laughs> face like nothing happened. No, we didn't tell a joke. No, 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 no. You did not get it because we didn't say it. <laughs> we're in denial. Yeah, we're in total denial. That's we an Irish that, thing too. Yeah. yeah, we have that straight look as if to say, no, I, didn't know. I wasn't supposed to be funny. <laughs> and we're laughing. We well, went right over their heads. <laughs> That's kind of how comedians watch other comedians. They don't really laugh. They go, wow, that was really great. But they don't laugh. They don't laugh. Now, when, you're, when you're about to go on the stage or when you started or whatever, how do you feel? Do you feel nervous? Do you what? What do you say? What does a com? I know, I know what a singer does. I uh -huh. know what most people do. What does a comedian do to go on the stage and look at all these people, all these deadpan faces, mm -hmm. and think I've got to get them to laugh? Well, I that's that's the challenge that I like. I know that that's the objective, 
So I'm a little yeah. bit motivated in terms of, okay, I'm looking at the crowd and my job is to make all of them well, laugh. All of you are going to have happy faces. Uh, yes. And so I don't, um, I really don't get nervous anymore. It's more of an emotion of excitement. Yeah. And I've been doing it. And you use that. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, I do. And, you know, sometimes for big, important shows, I get a little bit nervous. Yeah. And now, at this point in my life, um, she my, doesn't get nervous at all because we give a damn. <laughs> that's, that's number one. <laughs> she doesn't care what happens. Yep, yep, I'm over that. I, I don't really get, you know, jitters or anything. No. But I'm, I'm always a little bit worried, you know, that I'm, I'm not going to remember all the things that I wanted to talk about because I have a tendency to sort of... Well, do we ever remember all the things we're going to talk I realize that I'm going to interview this guest and I'm going to ask this and this and this. I look at the interview and I think, what happened to all my questions? But aren't those what the best shows? Would you agree that those uh, are sometimes? That's why I don't pre-interview. Right. I and love the spontaneity of you. I mean, I've never met this woman before in, in my life. I have not been to any of your shows, which I think, you're going to. I think there's going to be a little different sort of thing going on now. That's <laughs> I right. guess I come and see your I shows. I smell a guest so, list. Yeah, yeah guest future. list. Yes. Nina, on the, Nina <laughs> on the guest list. I love it. Now, talk about guest list on the guest list. What have you got coming up? Uh, I am working... Uh, you know, the Laugh Factory here, Yes, right? Yes. One of the best clubs on the Strip, if absolutely, I do say so. Absolutely. They also have uh, a location in Isn't Reno. Isn't that in the right? Tropicana? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. No, my thing. And it's a great, great yeah, club. Great place. Yes. Always quality show. Yes. Um, and they have a location in Reno, Nevada. So I will be there for a week uh, starting October 13th. Oh, soon. Very soon. And that's exciting for me because after COVID, you know, comedy was very resilient during the the quarantine COVID. lockdown. It really was. And a lot of our friends who are club owners and, and uh, impresarios, yeah. we call them, figured out a way, following the rules, to keep the show so, going To keep them going. They, well, a lot of clubs yeah. in, in, in Las Vegas did do that. Yes. Because they wanted to make sure that they kept the... the, the gonna, most. I was going to yeah. say kept the laughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. But that's what they wanted. Yeah, keep they the did. Laughter. And keep it out there because it's a dramatic time for a comedian or anybody like that. Because you can't. You've got to sing. It's like you have to practice singing every day. Uh, yes, Otherwise, your voice goes. You've got to practice your jokes. Otherwise, you know, you get dried up. Without question. And yeah. that was, you know, something that was um, amazing to watch. These club owners saying, okay, today we only get to have 40% capacity. And the, they got out there and they arranged the chairs the and chairs tables are, yeah. to meet those rules. So um, I feel like our industry was really fortunate in that there were always a few places that you could go mm -hmm. and, and go up, you know, and, and stay fresh. It's like, but, it's like walking into a room, I've only got half the people there, but that's only how many they were allowed. I know. It's like, you I don't know. have a full audience. Well, you weren't allowed a full audience. That's audience. right. And there had to be a, a There had to be six feet or eight feet or ten, whatever they decided to do. And, and it's like, I'm not playing to a full house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you couldn't. No, no. But, and, and you really, people forget that intimacy is a really important element of comedy. Oh, electricity I mean, from people. Right, like us. Yeah, can like, well, it? yeah, I can I feel can. it. What can you feel? I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, joke time. Not from me. <laughs> joke time. Oh, I, you're going to put me on the spot for a joke? I sneaked in well, one. Um, well, we could talk about... I was watching the show prior to previous. this one. Previous, yes. 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 And the topic, which we will probably see... Uh, I don't, yeah, we're not going to talk about that topic, but, but, but I know what you're talking about. The women you're, of a certain age? Yes, the women of a certain age, yes. I'm trying to let you set me up for a joke. No, I'm not <laughs> set, going to set you up for a <laughs> Well, I was listening earlier, and yeah. we were talking about how women of a certain age in this industry of entertainment, which yeah. is a big umbrella. What do we do, right? shut down, or what do we do? Well, no, I, I'm the same way. I mean, I just don't let the age thing affect me. I and don't think the age thing should affect anybody no, at I any don't. time. I agree. Do you know, and I'm going to tell you why. There is not one single thing in this entire world that's going to stop us from aging. That's exactly there right. Is, so we celebrate. So celebrate. Yes, Absolutely. celebrate. Celebrate aging. And I always have something that keeps me going. And this is true. Last week, Bruce Springsteen yes. turned 71. And he's still out there performing, right? And well, He's uh, you quite know, young, actually. Yeah, he still goes down to the river. He just can't remember why. <laughs> um, a joke. I sneaked it in. Come on, you stuck a I joke in right in. there. I asked, I asked, you know, so, I, I love what, what just happened. I'm going to tell you why. Tell okay, me tell me why. Happened. Because you kind of built that in. I asked you about a joke. You didn't just go straight into a joke. You kind of went around the fence and went up the stairs and then you fell down the stairs and then you came back up again and stuck the joke right in there. 
Oh, you know, I'm a trained professional. <laughs> what can I say? I've had some practice doing it. No, but uh, you are, you like are one of in. the top. Like this, <laughs> this young lady actually is one of the biggest comedians probably in America. Oh, my. Why, why thank you. I'll take that crown yeah. and wear it with pride. Thank yes, you very yes. much. But we might that. be losing the crown soon, so be careful. Oh. We're gonna have, well, we're still going to have a crown, but it's going to be on a man's head instead of a woman's head. Well, the princess in what, are, what were they? The Meghan and, and Harry, Prince, right? Prince and princess. You must yes. have strong opinions about that. After I have were... a lot of strong opinions about yeah. that. I do, especially coming from England, right? Um, with all the racial things that were going on, because I was brought up not with that. Mm -hmm. When I came to America, it was like, what? What? Who cares? Yeah. People are people. Right. And that's how we were brought up. So it was very mm -hmm. different for me when I had all this stuff going on. I, I disapproved it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I try to. People. Yeah. Of course. But you know, I remember. There's. I always try to look at the bright side and the, the dark side. But when they, when Meghan and Harry were stripped, the bad news is they were stripped of their royal titles, right? But the good news is. That no, they we, still have their royal. They're still, they're still oh. in Sussex. Oh. Yeah, they're still Prince. I know. She's Prince Princess of Sussex. Well, that's good news. And yeah. the other thing. No, I, no the yeah. horror. The horror. The bad thing was that they didn't. That they didn't name. Their son did not become a prince, okay. but that's not anything to do with anybody or them. That's the protocol, and if I you see. go through the protocol, he's actually not in line in the oh. protocol to become prince. It has nothing to do with Meghan or Harry or the Queen. Or it has nothing to. It's the protocol and how it works. It's very confusing, though. You well, need a that's chart the British are confusing. Yeah, the British are bloody confusing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm even confused with me. <laughs> well, and I heard the good news was though that the Queen let them keep their um, Buckingham Palace Netflix account, so that was generous. Yeah. That was what I was trying. To, I was trying to get to. See, it. see what she does. She stops Thank the you. men. I was interrupting her all the time. <laughs> that's okay. And she said, I can bring it said, right back. And she you said see, to me, you know, "You're not going to let me get this out. You're no, going to. I'm not going to get it out." <laughs> well, but the other thing about this wonderful location. Yeah, I love this show. location. Of great? course, this is the Art House Theater, yep. which is, we're actually in there. Uh, I understand it's a five-star dining room. I heard that. Amazing. Back, definitely. And also, I understand they're going to be giving 20% off anybody who comes up here. They Very get 20% nice. off. I believe it's drinks and food and everything, but whatever it is, it's still good to get 20% off. It's really good. So you can come up here. Very of course, nice. the theaters are amazing. Yeah. And of course, we mustn't forget, you know, who our producer is. Our producer is now Maria Perez. Love you. And uh, she's absolutely amazing. Of course, Problem company, solver. Probably, yes, she solves all the yes, problems. We've did. been watching them. You, that's why I was saying behind the scenes is amazing. Yeah. And of Look course, at her laughing. You can make course, noise, Maria. Her back, company back, back. is social <laughs> media <laughs> shows, and she's got she's laughing away there. You're supposed to have fun. Yeah, you've got to have fun. Yeah, yeah, one right. So we're going to go in Reno for a week, and then yeah. what's got coming up? You said Vegas is buzzing. Well, that's what I wanted to mention because of this beautiful location. There's so much yes. happening right around here. Yes. And again, I spoke of the empresarios and producers who kept things going during COVID. And right in this neighborhood. Which within, is the Arts Center. Yes, within the Arts District. We have two um, kind of off-strip clubs, and their producers have done an amazing job kind of establishing a brand and a local following, a loyal following. Right here, there's one at the Artisan uh, on yes. Tuesday nights. Every Tuesday night, it's called Fitzy and Friends, if I can put in a plug, because it's Go ahead. A, cause they've done an amazing job to just keep the momentum going through all of the restrictions. And it's always a quality show. My friend Sean Fitzsimmons produces that. You can, no cover charge. You can oh, that's what people love, yeah. that no cover charge. It's great. Beautiful. So they're relying on drinks. Well, free I think parking. They, you I know. think they've always done that. They've which always is done, which is, which is what we're looking for. That's Let's right. get us in the place. We'll have all the that's drinks right. we want. And you notice he's an Irish guy, too. You see? Well, so he, he just knows it. how to work it. That's, that's right. We, we uh, focus on the liquor. But that's the Irish. Better. Can they start off like that? Can they start? I have never uh, fancied the bro. No. I, no. They talk with like a singing moment. Like that's all that Little leprechauns. <laughs> it's good to have a little leprechaun in your house, aren't you? You're supposed to be think, lucky. Uh, perhaps. I don't have one. I Neither do I. One, but I, I consider myself lucky. Yeah, but you are. As an well, you are lucky. lucky. Mm -hmm. And actually, what, what she was saying also, she was saying she was so lucky to be uh, married. You know, I, I do feel that. Yes, yes, yes. Especially going through the pandemic and everything else. And also, she says, you know, they're great to have around the house when you have to change light bulbs. It's the truth. We celebrated 29 years. I thought years. they were there for something else. But now I'm <laughs> After 29 years, the They're only thing they get plugged is the light bulb. <laughs> That's the only thing they can plug what into, What can I right? say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. You slipped that one into. Yes, you did. Yeah. But I'm trying. I'm trying. 
Well, he's a comedian, so. Oh, was his own yes, he competition? No? Not really. Well, my advice to our, him. Well, maybe the secret of our happy marriage, 29 years, and my advice is marry a road comic. Uh, because well, he's always on the road, that's right? Exactly. <laughs> so, but, oh, we're slinging them around, I'm right? I'm trying. Uh, but, you don't have to try very hard, do you? She's well, you, amazing. Thank you. But you asked me that question earlier when yeah. Maria wasn't laughing. Um, when she was working yeah, on the she was, she was really so serious. <laughs> well, throughout the 29 years, though, we have been asked several times, of course, or I have, what is it like to be married to a comedian? And let me tell you, the answer to that question is much different than the answer to the question, what's it like being quarantined with a comedian for 15 oh, months? Because that's very different. Because then you see them all the time and they're throwing jokes and you're well, throwing jokes. And who's throwing, who's got bit. the better joke? A little bit. Do you have competition on who's going to no. throw the better joke today? We, uh, he, we're, we have different styles, so that helps us kind of give the other one a critical eye and yeah. say, maybe tweak this, maybe tweak that. But now, do you ever have any joke you don't like and say, why don't you take that joke? Yes, yes, we do. We do. Yes. It's not working for me, it might work for you. No, it's true, and that's a nice, yeah, that's... nice handy thing to have. And a couple of times he'll, uh, he's done a lot of uh, television and specials, and he did a special on um, Dry Bar. Two million views. Please check it out. It's a free Two download. million views. That's Bob's a lot of views. Mm -hmm. And uh, he asked me if he could use one of my jokes on that special, and I said no. <laughs> she because, said no way. She said no. But well, if you pay me, you can. Well, I tell you what, though. <laughs> When he did it, we didn't really know that he would get two million views. But so you did you like it anyway? Well, I just didn't want people to think it was one of my favorite jokes. And I thought if you do it on that show and then somebody hears me telling it, they're gonna think that You I took it from you stole it, it from that. him. Yes. On that we've got to wrap up. Oh, um, how come people up. get <laughs> how can people get I, I love this stay all day. Amazing. Yeah, why not? We have a couple of martinis That's right. come on, where's the bartender? How can people reach you? Facebook is my best bet. Uh, you can stalk me there. Under, and under what name? Erin O'Connor with an O-R at the end. And uh, I post all of my upcoming shows. Uh, we have a brand new club right in the neighborhood too. Not we, but uh, Wise Guys is here. That's a great club right here downtown. The Wise and Heimer. On a lot of Wednesdays. You can find me there. And my other friend, Steve McAnelly, has a great club right here at awesome. the barbecue place. So just look for me. I'm, I'm popping up as everywhere. You Thank said, you so much. As you said, Aaron, everything is opening yes. up. And a lot of people are giving great things away, like you yes. know, this, the art house mm -hmm. uh, theater. We're giving away 20%. So that's great. So everybody's trying to get people in. Yes. Because people are so used to being out. So exactly. now we've got to get them back in. And I think I, I truly believe people cannot wait to come back out again and start living and enjoying and also the hot weather's gone. I know. So we've got the yeah. beautiful days. We've got the best time of Vegas is right now. So don't forget to fly in. I also understand they've opened up a lot of the airlines. So all over the world. And I know this show is going all over the world. So if you want to fly in, they're breaking up all these airlines. And they're, they're, you know. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, so is COVID over? Yay! Come on. Come, come on, visit baby. us. Come on. Thank you for watching Thank Vegas so Live with Dina. And we'll be right back with our next guest.